My story starts with my grandmother. My grandmother had seven daughters. And from what I was told, when her daughters were little, my grandmother sold clothes for all seven of her little girls. As a kid growing up, I remember going to visit my grandmother and seeing her beige sewing machine set up on a brown wooden square shaped sewing table against a wall in her bedroom. My grandmother loved working with her hands. She had a garden, she liked to crochet, and she really loved and was great at making quilts. Quilts seemed to really be her thing. Now, my grandmother didn't teach me how to sew, but she planted a seed. And when the first opportunity for me to learn to sew presented itself, I took it. And that was in high school, in either the 11th or the 12th grade. I remember I made a blue and white polka dot knit t-shirt with a pocket on the left front side and matching polka dot white leg pants with an elastic waistband. I loved that sewing allowed me to be creative, picking out the fabric I wanted to sew with and choosing whether to add a front pocket to the t-shirt or to leave it off, I thought was just the coolest thing ever. I remembered that I loved sewing right out the gate, In fact, I loved sewing so much that when the sewing class was over for the semester, I asked for a sewing machine. And lo and behold, to my surprise, as a graduation gift from high school, I received a used pink sewing machine. I loved my sewing machine. I was beside myself and oh so happy to have my very own sewing machine. So after high school, I went off to college, started my career, got married, and never sold one thing in all those years. Not one single thing. I can honestly say I was living life and sewing was just not at the forefront of my mind during that time. Until one day, that changed. One of my friends and I used to go to a beauty salon to get our hair done by a beautician named Tracy. We would go to Tracy religiously, too. Well, one day, Tracy mentioned to my friend that she had a piece of furniture in her condo that she wanted to get rid of. My friend was interested in the furniture piece that Tracy had described, so my friend asked me if I would go with her to Tracy's condo to take a look at the furniture piece that Tracy didn't want anymore. And of course, I said, sure. When we had walked into Tracy's condo, my friend began looking at the furniture piece. But what grabbed my attention and stopped me in my tracks was a dress form posing in Tracy's living room, and on the dress form was a blazer that Tracy had made, a blazer, and I was amazed. It was like Tracy had a hidden secret about herself that was being revealed. Tracy could sew. I was astonished. I had no idea that my beautician, who had been doing my hair for maybe a year, could sew. And from the looks of that blazer, she was really good at it. All I had ever sewn up to that point was beginner-friendly knit garments. So seeing this dress form with a blazer on it that someone I knew had sewn had me mesmerized. It was a wow moment like no other. I was beyond impressed. A fire had been reignited. I went home and told my husband that day that I was ready to get back into sewing. But getting back into sewing was much easier said than done. I learned that it wasn't that easy for me to just jump back into it. And in fact, it still took years to actually begin sewing. 
Thinking I could just jump back into it and trying to do just that, I quickly realized I didn't know what I was doing, and especially without having a teacher and classmates nearby to help me along the way. It made me wonder, had I paid attention during class at all? I had pulled out my sewing machine and I was just lost. I didn't have the supplies that I needed and I didn't know what to do first to get back into the swing of things after so many years of not sewing and trying to just rely on my memory. I remember feeling discouraged and I again put my sewing machine away for what ended up being several more years but still having the desire to learn and hopefully get to Tracy's level one day, I decided to go to Joanne Fabrics. I talked to someone about classes they offered and the things I would need to get back into sewing, and it was at that time that I decided to take things slow and start to learn more about how to sew by reading. At this time in my life, I was much older than when I had taken my first sewing class in high school. I was an adult, and as an adult, I had a greater appreciation for what I was learning. I was really determined to commit to learning how to sew and to paying attention. I ended up reading a couple of different books but there is one book that holds a special place in my heart that I will always remember in my mind as the book that I credit with teaching me how to sew. The book was great because it was very beginner friendly and walked me through pretty much everything I needed to know to get started and reacquainted with sewing. So years later, Finally armed and ready by having read books and having the internet by my side, I made my first wearable garment from a quick sew pattern. Quick sew patterns were my go-to patterns for sewing clothes for the longest time. I began discovering blogs and patternreview.com, which had and still does have a forum for beginners. It was and still is a great resource where you could ask questions, post pictures, and get help. Today, I continue to learn to sew in the same way that I did years ago after seeing that blazer in Tracy's living room. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share of the book that I give credit to for teaching me how to sew and getting me back into sewing. The book is called S.E.W. Sew Everything Workshop. I ended up giving the book away to a friend of mine who had a daughter who was interested in sewing. So I don't have the book here to thumb through for you. However, I will link it below if you are interested.